Hey everybody, it's Lane Amon with LayoutAday.com with another quick, simple scrapbooking tip for you. And we've been having a conversation over on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash layoutaday about how to organize cardstock scraps. And I thought this would be a great video to share some tips with you. I am the kind who just throws them all in a big bin. In fact, I have a drawer um, back behind me. I don't know if you can see it. It's right over there. And I've got one large drawer and I just throw them all in there. It's like a map or file drawer and they all go in there and I sort through as I need them. I have my um, my pattern paper scraps in a Sterilite, one of those iris bins that folds a 12 by 12 that folds open and closed. I have all the, the uh, paper um, pattern paper in there but the cardstock goes in the drawer over there. And it seems that people fall into the throw it all in <laughs> um, camp or they they fall into the I like to organize it camp. And we had some good suggestions and I just wanted to share those with you. Zyra is one who is way more organized than I am. She organizes by color and she puts them in sandwich baggies of different size, all on the same color into a folder and then all the folders go into a big filing envelope. So she is very organized. Susan is more like me. She says she has two 12 by 12 boxes, one for solids, one for patterns. And Becky's also that way. She says she by color and then throws them into a desk drawer. Um, some other ideas, Joyce says she's actually got several different drawers. She has one drawer that's all solid colors, one that's pattern papers only, and then the third is fancy like glitter or flocked or vellum. So, um, so there are some ways to do it. If you tend to like to sort things out more, you can go really, really, really detailed and make a 12 by 12 um, filing folder with each of your colors or get one of those banker's bins that has the divisions in it and you can slide everything in there um, by color. And the reason I throw my all into a drawer is because I'll end up getting really anal. It's like I've got to be all or nothing. I either have to organize it down to the itty bitty details or I have to not organize it at all. And what I'll do is I'll end up spending more time organizing than I am spending scrapbooking. So that's why I just throw it all in together and dig through it. Because what would get me held up, particularly with pattern paper, is okay, this one's orange and yellow stripes. So do I file that with orange or do I file that with yellow? <laughs> or if it's some kind of pattern, um, does that go by itself or it's got a white background? So does that go with white? So anyway, I would get hogtied. I would get held up by that process of sorting. So I decided to opt out of it altogether and just put it in a bin and sort through it. That may not work for you. You may be more of the filing type and that is totally okay. There are people all over the board. Debbie says hers are organized by color group, red, yellow, blue, green, etc. and stored in 12 by 12 scrapbook album sleeves. She keeps them on a shelf next to her whole sheets of cardstock and pulls those out first before cutting a whole sheet. She says she also keeps anything that's 3 by 3 or larger or it's got to be 2 by 12 for a border strip. So, um, so that's another option. And Maureen says she sorts her solid ones by color and stores them in legal size hanging folders in a Pendaflex file in a rolling cart, goes right under her desk. When she's ready to scrap, she just pulls it out and starts there. So there are a lot of different options. I'll put a link to my Facebook page. You can go over there and check it out and see what other people are doing. But wherever, I guess the big thing to remember is do what works for you. And like I found out, trying to sort it cause more problems than not sorting. So that's why I ended up not sorting at all. But you may be one who needs to sort to feel like you've got control or um, got a, a handle on what you have and that is totally okay. So hopefully that's given you some ideas for how you can sort and store your card stock. And the kind of the common consensus is that anything that's three by three or larger is definitely a keeper. And going down to those little tiny bits, you might want to toss them or you might want to pre-punch them. I do that a lot of the time too, pre-punch them and keep them on hand. Now I've got circles and squares and butterflies ready to go. If you've got some ideas on how you sort or store your paper scraps, leave them on this page. I'd love to hear from you. See you soon.